What's up timekeepers, me TimeGamer here bringing another video for Fallout 4 mods for the PS4. So if you're ready, I'm ready, time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so finally bringing you another episode of, of Fallout 4 mods on the PS4. It's been quite a while, there's finally enough mods for me to do a couple more videos of these. I think I got enough for 4 or 5 videos and I'll check again to make sure there's some new mods and of course by then, hopefully, we'll have a creation club, uh, and hopefully, I'll be able to check that out for you guys. So, without further ado, I got three mods I will be trying out for you guys. So, let's just jump right in. So, let's go. Alright, okay, so the first mod I'm going to be trying out today is called Sanctuary Hill uh, Hot Spring Home, and something like that. It's uh, their titles in the corner up there. So, you guys are going to check. Basically, it adds like a new location to Sanctuary, or san a new like uh, destination place for Sanctuary Hill. Which is uh, when you're at, when you're in the um, the roundabout here section of the sanctuary hill, it it develops a new little path right here. I had a wall here, so it completely took it out. Uh, you see the wall. You used to have a. Oh no, actually, just to, I had. Oh no, yeah, no, there was this bush here that kept going. Anyway, so it sort of takes this path this path here, and then creates this here. So this is the location where it's situated. Sorry about that. So apparently this is also fully customizable. Sanctuary Hot Spring. Ooh, look at that. What the fuck is that? Nice little location here. The hot spring. Oh, there's a monkey inside. Alright. Nice little spa vacation retreat here. Little radio running in the background. Looks pretty nice. And relax right here. Ah. Nice relaxation. There's also a bunker over here we can go check. Uh, Don't have the key. Oh, where's the key? Oh, I didn't know there was a key for this. We're in their bathrobe there, right out of the uh, thing here. All right, so right now I'm right in the north of the vault to find the key to go into the hot spring uh, base. You see here we have vault 111, and right here you have the carpenter's foxhole, so right up to the north. We can go over here. There was a there was a synth that I oh shit, I forgot he was following me. I got our sanctuary spring key. Okay. All right, so we got that. Let's see if he's got anything interesting here. We got a lantern. I'm good without that. Oh, he's got a duffel bag. Right there, right there. We're good. Good. Pretty much it. Sorry, carpenter. All right, let's go back to. Let, I'll meet you back at Sanctuary Hill. All right, so we're back at the hot spring. There's the base right here. Uh, if if you want to find out, if you want to figure out how to know where the the base is without looking at it, uh, it the note right here, Carpenter's note, it says it's like uh, uh, I made a foxhole uh, north of the vault to see see what's going on. So that's what it is. So the door is there. I've already unlocked it. So let's just go into the vault, into the sanctuary, uh, hot spring home. All right, we're in. All right. Oh, there's a power armor suit in here. All right, we got a little garage area. There's that here. That's pretty cool. A little, yeah. A little garage area with a couple of things. Lockers. Looks like a big place. Looks pretty cool. Another door. Oh, there's a oh a lounging area. That's nice with water underneath with the water cool generator. All right, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, nice. All the little accessories. Oh, I've never seen this boy soldier before. All the little robots. I think I'm missing some of them, too. Double barrel shot. Right. And... This. Is that a wine bottle? Whatever. Alright, so what's over here? Door number one. That's a locker room. I have to say, the person that did this actually took a lot of time to... Designed this stuff because it looks pretty cool. The room is probably sort of a the ripper. Ah, okay, Mr. Handy bag of cement, whatever's left of a robot cement block, combat knife. A lot of cool thing here. That's the the mechanic. I guess the the maintenance room. A lot more stuff there. There. Sort of a dining area. That's a pretty cool hideout, and it is fully customizable. Uh, sure, sure. 
a fresh newspaper. Alright, move out of my way. Oh, another door. Oh, a stock room. Ooh, boy. Stock room with some bottle cap. Okay, bottle cap. Okay. Ooh, okay. But there's a lot of stuff down here. Ooh. Oh, I, I, I could use some of this. Baseball grenade. Hmm. Alright, that's a nice little stock room. Is there more... Is there more to there? Is there a downstairs? Can I go under there? I don't think so. Alright, that's pretty much it for the hot spring uh, close to Sanctuary Hill. There's also this. Where I can put the bobbleheads. I think it would glitch out though, but... Alright, that looks pretty cool, so we'll move on to the next mod. Alright, so our next mod is called Pre-War Preparation. Or Pre-War Prepper, if I remember correctly. So this mod, basically, you have to go in the player's uh, house. So basically the house you start in. And under, I had to move my bed, but right under the bed and the carpet, the, uh, when you buy, when you, uh, when the, the room is still stock, there's a little chest right here and there's the basement key. So I'll pick that up. And basically what it is, it's going to be a key for us to go to our basement, our new uh, allocated basement in, in the house, which is located in the laundry room, if Cage can move out of the way. So you see there's a little hatch there in the back. So I'm going to lock it and go to the basement. So this basically, the mod uh, is sort of adds like, a bunch of prep, a, a bunch of pre-war prep, like the title says. Uh, so we'll have to. I don't know exactly what's down there, so we'll, we'll find out together. All right. All right. So there was a bunch of basically, yeah, pre-war prep. So there's a uh, antibiotic, duffel bag, a lot of lanterns, oil canister. Right away, gas mask has dude. Okay, so bottle cap. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, uh, lavatory. Lavatory. A small little kitchen. Uh, for some reason, I can't turn on my. Oh no, my helmet's broken. I'm still in the bathrobe from the last mod. So. All right, now we can see stuff. Holy shit, way bigger than I thought. We got a little room with a nice bed and all that. That's looks pretty awesome. With extra shit piled in the corner. Uh, bobby pin box. Okay. Stock room. High voltage. Do not tamper. Okay, I guess not. Uh, got a, a lot of couple stuff glitching. We got propane. 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 I wonder if we shoot at it if it's going to blow up. Alright, so we got here. This, I guess, uh... All right. So this is another oh fusion cores. I need me some of those. Got a lot of material to build stuff, so that's pretty fun. Up here, a bench is probably a work area. Oh, and we can modify the entire basement. We got the gun equipment. ARC case. Oh, was it? I think there was special weapons in this basement too. I mean, come on. Ooh, ARC. Ooh. All the... All the bunch of mods. A uh, gun case. I think it's the same thing. Got it. Pretty much. ACP. I'm not, I'm not too... Uh, I'm not too non knowledgeable about the terminology for gun... For gun equipment there, so... Nice. Ooh. Well, there's a couple of custom guns in here. Uh, cunning, shadowed, combat armor. Oh, there's a key here. Ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> there's a key. I didn't mean to pack all that stuff. Alright, there's a couple of specialized weapons here. Some equipment. And yeah, so that's another another new uh, part, part of a hideout field stealth knife. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of a lot of things here. It's another it's another extension of uh, more uh, building room for stash and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So I think that's 
pretty much it though so we'll move on to the next mod all right so the next mod is going to be aliens in the common wealth so basically where it's going to be it's going to be located here basically they completely changed the interior and there's going to be aliens there with uh basically some custom some custom alien weapons so we're going to go there clear them out uh hopefully i uh, have the right suit to uh withstand uh, radiation and uh, i won't go there exactly even if it says clear i haven't cleared it so we'll just lo i'll just go to the closest location and walk my way there so all right so we made it to the bunker i remember this is like a special it's supposed it's dressed like a small little house but it's actually underground there's a base so we will go from there all right i don't know if there's a special note i didn't read that in the yeah, about no. All right, let's go installation K21B. I don't know, man. There's some weird vibe going on here. Let's check it out. I don't know how far they are in here. I don't remember to where. Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, holy shit! There's a lot of them. Excellent. Ooh, doggy. I'm gonna need myself an alien blaster on this one because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fucking get rid of all of them. Let's uh, equip that alien blaster pistol. There we go, ka -ching. Jeez, they're pretty easy to kill. Holy shit, they're everywhere! Oh, this guy's got it. Doink. I gotta move out of the way here. Die, die! I got you, Crypto. Kaboom! Your worst nightmare just appeared. Hello, sir. Do you have access to specialized weapon down here? No? Okay, I'm sorry, then. Military trunk. That wasn't here before. I guess they were trying to find their their uh, lost weaponry, maybe. That's it. Ooh, jeez. Ain't no... Anal probe pistol? Alright. Okay. Ancient crown. Disintegrator ray pistol. Oh, okay. Uh, ion the detonator pistol. I don't know what that does. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of damage to that one. Zedomatic pistol. They seem to put Jesus Christ, Zeta's revenge pistol. That's one weapon and a half we got there. Gauged like that. <laughs> uh, so, which one's the most powerful one? Captain Sidearm. Uh, I don't know, my... That's my pistol I had. This one's a very powerful weapon. Oh, it has a 200 round. What the fuck? Alright, let's go, uh... I guess the only thing we can really do is test that weapon out somewhere. Alright, now I'm in the area that I saw Death Claws earlier, so... Savage Death Claws. I don't know how strong they are, but we'll have to see once they match up to my gun. This is the revenge one. Holy shit! Whoa! My god, that disintegrates everything. Hello? Whoa, this is a good fucking pistol we got here. 
Oh my god, it just <laughs> it just destroys everything. Jesus. That's horrible. Oh, hello there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this, this weapon's really cool, actually. That that made the mod alone pretty interesting. All right, right now I'm at the Crater of Adam, so let's have a little bit more fun. Like, of course, like I've mentioned many times in the past, don't don't use your uh, your main save to do this modding stuff and without saving it to a different save. Because right now I'm going to kill everybody and I don't think a lot of people are going to be happy here. A lot of bubbly. Is anybody home? Hello, sir. Jesus Christ. Come on, stairs. Hello, sir. Oh, madam. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my God. It just... It went everywhere. Hello, sir. I was talking to your friend over there. I just did something like this. And it's, uh, oh, it happened to you, too. God, that's not good. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, I need your help. I keep I keep doing this and... Uh, uh, keeps doing that every time. Like Nobody's here to help me. It sort of... It sort of... Lifts them up and then explodes them. That's something else. Don't remember if there's one weapon in this game that does that usually. Alright guys, that's going to be it for all the mods. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Those are three mods that I chose for you today. There's a couple, there's a lot more mods I want to try out. I won't mention any for you guys so you guys can keep a surprise for later. Uh, of course you can find all the mods I saw on the PS4, but, but I'm pretty sure you can find them also on uh, some better versions of them on the Xbox and PC, of course. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much guys for watching. Of course, if there's other different... Uh, other uh, how-to or like sh me showing you stuff you want to try like I've got my Arma series where I show a newbie, uh, a newbie way of programming Arma uh, servers. Uh, that's one of that's my most popular series and I like doing tutorials just I don't know what to do them about. So if you guys got cool tutorials you want me to try to do for you I'll try to learn it and try to do it for you. So, <laughs> so yeah so uh, that's pretty much so like the video and subscribe to the channel we really appreciate that. You can also follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter twitch facebook instagram and right here, youtube.com forward slash playtime gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.